Mizaka Dizaka. What are stars and constellations? Hi, guys. Look what a starry sky we've got today. Have you ever wondered what the stars are? They seem to be small, cold, and bright dots. But in fact, they are huge, hot balls. Stars are shining because of the constant burning process that's going on inside of them. As a result of this burning, an enormous amount of light and heat is thrown into space. We see stars as tiny dots only because they are so far away from us. In order to get to even the closest star, not counting the sun, we would have to fly for more than 100,000 years. Stars differ in size, brightness, and color. Also, the stars can vary in temperature. Blue stars seem to be cold, but in fact they are the hottest ones, with a temperature of more than 30,000 degrees Celsius. White stars are a little cooler. Their temperature is more than 7,000 degrees. Yellow stars have a temperature of 5 to 6,000 degrees. Orange stars, more than three and a half thousand degrees. Finally, the coldest stars are the red ones. Their temperature is more than 2,000 degrees. Do you know which star is closest to Earth? Of course, this is our sun. The sun is a yellow star, and its temperature is about 6,000 degrees. And this is how the sun looks in comparison to some other larger stars. Sirius, Vega, Pollux, Arcturus, Aldebaran, Rigel, Antares, Beetlejuice. In ancient times, while observing stars, people grouped them into patterns called constellations. These constellations form a star map. Since the Earth rotates around its axis, the stars seem to move across the sky. It is actually the Earth which is moving. See? Only one star remains in its place all the time. This is the Polaris, or North Star. It is located directly above the North Pole. Earth's axis points directly toward the Polaris. Therefore, the Polaris indicates the direction due north. Let's locate the North Star in some constellations. The Big Dipper is a part of the constellation of Great Bear. Usually you can easily find it in the sky. If you connect the two extreme stars of the Big Dipper and then continue this line up to a bright star, you will find the Polaris. It's right on the edge of the handle of the Little Dipper, part of the Little Bear constellation. You can try to find some other constellations in the sky. This is Orion. It is easily recognizable by its belt made up of three stars. Cassiopeia. It looks like a letter W. Look, a shooting star! Of course, this is not actually a star, but a meteor. A meteor is a small fragment of an asteroid or comet that burns in the Earth's atmosphere. Real stars, of course, cannot fall down. Well, we've seen lots of interesting things in the night sky, and now it's time to say goodbye. See you later! <laughs>